Hello, Fat Grandma here. It is now Thursday. Let's see, it's March 2nd. Um, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm still awake because I got my shot in my back last uh, yesterday. And um, still today for me because I haven't slept since I went in for my appointment. Uh, so I thought I would throw a quick video up. I've got two things I wanted to talk about. Let you guys know I got my shot. It was not pleasant at all. It was less pleasant than the last time I got one. Uh, I felt like after he was done, it still felt like there was like a piece of metal sticking in my back. And um, so then I, I just felt like I needed to walk, you know. They were going to put me in a wheelchair to take me to the, like, recovery area where they check your blood pressure and stuff. And I felt like I needed to walk. So they let me, you know. So I walked, and it didn't help, but I just felt better walking than sitting. So um, anyway, they took my blood pressure, and it was over 200, the top number. I didn't even pay attention to the bottom number. But... um after I sat there and kind of calmed myself down, it went to 180 over whatever, and they went ahead and let me leave. So, but that's because I was in pain and also stressed out. So, you know, I'm, and then I don't know, and I know some of you have mentioned before that you've had the steroid shots in your backs, and I don't know if you had the same side effects I have, but for a few days afterward, um, at least two days last time, my um, heartbeat was, I don't know how to describe this, it felt harder, like, not that it was faster, but that it just was pumping harder, um, and I don't sleep very well, like, you know, and that's because of the steroids, so it takes about three days, at least, that's what I remember from last time, it took th at least three days for it to wear off enough so that I could sleep normal, and um, there's also some other things, but I won't go into it. But yeah, it, it not very much fun. But I'm hoping that after the initial stuff wears off and I can kind of get back to normal, I'm not supposed to really do anything for 24 hours. Um, and I mean, I'm doing stuff, but nothing strenuous or whatever. So. <clears throat> and you can't shower or we well, can shower, I guess, but you can't like take a bath or sit in a jacuzzi or, like I have one. <laughs> and, um, you can't do any of that kind of stuff for a few days afterwards. So I, I can't remember how many days, but I know it's a few. So anyway, um, so that got taken care of. So we'll see how that goes. And I'll mention it. Um, I'll let you guys know how things are going at the end of my video that I do on Sunday this week. So the other thing I wanted to talk about was, I don't know if it's just me. I, I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but two months in a row now, because I have a store, an eBay store that I pay a subscription for, and um, they take my fee on the third of every month for my store. And the this month, March, and last month at the beginning of February um, I had pulled all of my funds out of my account my you know my payments that were you know all the funds that were available to me and um, right before they were supposed to take my store fee and they can just charge my credit card which I think has had to happen once because I didn't have the money in the account but the last two months, and it's just weird, and I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but I thought I'd see if it's happened to anybody else. Um, I don't have any money in there in my account for to cover my store fee. And all of a sudden, I've had no sales since Sunday. None. Since I made that video, I've had zero sales. There's, I've had a couple of, I had one offer, and um, I think somebody else... Oh, somebody was asking me questions about an item, but that was it, you know. And all of a sudden today, I got three sales, and after the shipping was taken out, there's just enough to cover my eBay store fee. Um, and this is exactly the same thing that happened last month. 
And I don't know if the system pushes your stuff a little bit when your store fee is coming due, if you don't have the money in there, or if the universe is just helping me every month. I don't want to rely on that. Um, you know, it was a mistake. I didn't mean to pull all the funds out. I meant to leave $25 in there to cover my store fee, and I did it by accident, and I hit, you know, for it to go through, and so it went into my checking account that I have for my business and I figured I'd just put it on my credit card and then if they build my credit card it's paid for you know um but it's so bizarre that it just worked out that way and again this is exactly the same thing that happened last month I did not have the funds in there to cover my store fee and the day before my store fee or a couple days before my store fee was due I'd had no activity, and all of a sudden I sold just enough items that after the shipping fees were taken out and stuff, it covered my store, you know, my store uh, membership, and so, or my whatever, um, subscription. So, I don't know. It's just weird. It's weird, and um, I thought I would see if that's happened to anybody else. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know, I didn't expect it. I figured my card would get charged, but now there's money in my account, and they can just take it from that. So, yay, you know. Um, anyway, I guess that's it for my little midweek update. Uh, nothing else going on, really, that I can think of. Um, it was interesting at the doctor's office today because, well, okay, I'm... Here I am rambling on some more, but I'll try and make it quick. When I got there, the first time I went in and got a shot in my back, and they checked me in, and I waited for, I don't know, maybe five minutes. They took me back, uh, asked me questions, took my blood pressure, and then it was within 15 minutes I was in on the table getting the injection in my back. It went very smoothly. It was quick. This time it was very weird. Um, they, they took forever to check me in, first of all, and I was early for my appointment, and once I got back there, they took me back, and I sat there for 45 minutes, and I was starting to get irritated because two other people came in after me, and they went in and got their procedures before me, and I was like, okay, what the hell, you know, um... So I'm not sure exactly what was going on, but I'm going to say something to my doctor next time I see him in two weeks. Um, it, it, I was tempted at one point to just leave because I was like, I'm, I don't want to sit here anymore. They, I, the chair I was sitting in while I was waiting in the, in the, I don't even know. It's like, I don't know what to call it. It's like the pre-op area or something. Um, the chair that I was sitting in was the most uncomfortable chair I think they had in the entire building and so I was I kept moving and sitting different and trying to cross my legs and it just wasn't helping you know and so I was miserable the whole time I was sitting there it was killing my back and you know here I'm there for a shot in my back because my back hurts and they're making me sit in this chair that um, the chairs in the lobby were way more comfortable and you know so I don't know what was going on, but you're kind of in a between a rock and a hard place when you're in that situation because you want to say something, but at the same time, you don't want to piss off the people with the needles that are going in your back, you know, millimeters away from your spine. So you kind of have to tread lightly. And I knew if I said something, I was going to be a giant biatch and uh, it wasn't going to get me anywhere. So I figured I would just keep my mouth shut which is not common for me. And um, I would say something or ask my doctor about it when I'm sure I won't get a decent answer from him either. It'll be some runaround or whatever, you know, but I'm not doing that again. My appointment was later in the morning, and I don't know if that had something to do with it, but the first time I went, I made sure I got the first appointment. And so if I ever do this again, I will make sure that I do it on a day when I can get the first appointment so that there's no backup, there's nobody in front of me, there's none of that. I will be the first person in and then I can just get on with my day, you know, which is what I did the first time. So 
Um, but again, they canceled the appointment, rescheduled me, and that was the only thing he had available. So it was like right around lunchtime, and it was just, it wasn't, you know, the whole thing was kind of weird. And, and now my back is bothering me a lot more than it did after the first one. So I don't know, but he did two injections in the same area. So um, I don't know if he spread the quantity around a little bit more. Maybe it'll help. I'm hoping. I'm very hopeful. Um, something's got to work at some point. So anyway, okay, I am actually going to let you guys go this time. I hope you have a great rest of your week. There's only a couple days left. I have stuff that needs to go to the post office now, but it's probably going to sit here until Friday because I don't know if I really want to be out doing too much tomorrow. The roads are going to be wet because we had some rain today, so I may just wait until Friday. So I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye.